So, in most cases, I think uh, the performance of Chinese uh, NLP is worse than English. In most, in most cases, uh, in my understanding. So there are, but this is there are many reasons for this. So one reason is the data. Question one to question n, and there are multiple students taking the test. So if the student answers the question question one correctly, they say uh, zero here. Incorrectly is zero here, and correctly is one here. So for test some test item, the student might answer all the student might answer it correctly because it's very easy. Um. So you know, you we just be with. So first, I don't know if you are familiar with BPE technique. So for BPE technique, so if we see a new word we've never seen before, we just uh, segment it to several components, to sub -word. we call it sub -word. There are many, many high-performance students, so it may be it's like bias, right? So how yeah, can you yeah. deal with about this? Yeah, so uh, in, in that case, we are going to have like very low discriminatory key score, and then we might not really learn anything meaningful. We are going to have like very low discriminatory or key score. ครับสวัสดีผู้เข้าแข่งขันทุกท่านนะครับผู้เข้าอบรมทุกท่านนะครับก็ผมก็วันนี้ก็จะมาแจกโจทย์นะครับเป็นมินิแฮกกาตอนนะโจทย์ของเราในสัปดาห์นี้ก็คือเรื่องของ Machine Translation มีมีหลายรูปคำอย่างนี้ดีกว่าใช่ไหมครับในในในฝั่ง Target Language ใช่ไหมครับในภาษาปลายทางผมนึกนึกตัวอย่างไม่ออกเนาะแต่ว่าผมเชื่อว่าคุณน่าจะพอช่วยช่วยกันนึกอาจจะได้อยู่นะครับจะคำภาษาไทยหนึ่งคำไปเป็นภาษาอังกฤษซึ่งก็เป็นโจทย์ทางด้าน NLP ต่อจากอของอาจารย์ปัจญานะครับหรือพี่อาของเรานะครับแต่ทีนี้เราจะมาลงรายละเอียดกันนะครับว่าตัวแมชชีนทรานส์เลชันที่เราจะทําตัวนี้เนี่ยคืออะไรบ้างนะครับวิรัชพง์เยสพีส Um, so first of all, I have to apologize for all the participants who may be waiting to have their name checked for this late night session. Uh, so I will try to keep this fast. Uh, so uh, my question is that uh, I believe in your seventh slide, you did have you did mention uh, parallel AI or maybe separated AI. So is it uh, just like? Separate the model into many places and train them separately, or is it just more complex than that? Beta is the ability, and beta is the difficulty. So ability is higher than difficulty. We are going to have uh, some kind of a positive score, a uh, higher probability. And if the ability is lower than uh, difficulty, so meaning like the student is not able to. Does not have ability to answer this level of difficult questions. <laughs>